Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family, y'all. Thank you guys for taking time to like the videos you enjoy as well as subscribing, hitting the notification bell to know when I upload, and leaving me a comment. I love reading you guys' comments here. Let's go ahead and get into what y'all need to know. Well, damn. Look at this. Okay, so we have Magic Curse Witch in Reverse. Okay, so something has, some type of dark magic has backfired here. Okay. I feel like with news messages, this was someone that, this was something that someone sent out. So whether or not they were actually doing magic or not, or they were just thinking negative thoughts when it comes to you. For some of you guys, it could just be somebody thinking negative thoughts when it comes to you. Okay. For others of you. It could be someone not only thinking negative thoughts when it comes to you, but also somebody talking amongst other people um, negatively about you. OK, so for some of you guys, I'm definitely picking up on co-worker vibes. OK, so there could be somebody that maybe knows other people um, that that, you know, you guys all work together or um, they're speaking to other people in your field. And this is somebody that is trying to um, hurt or slow down your finances, um, or they're trying to create some type of blockages for you when it comes to your career. And the reason of why this person is doing this is because this person is jealous and this person is envious, okay? But I feel like the more and more somebody is talking about you guys, whoever this person this, this person is that is, uh, with this in reverse, what I'm getting here is the energy of somebody um, that could even smile on your face or for others of you. Um, it's just somebody that, that goes out of their way to watch what it is that you're doing. So I'm getting that a lot of y'all, right? Because most of us, we don't have time to be all up on somebody else's work, right? In the workplace or not. Like when I was behind the counter, I didn't have time to be over there, you know, all up at somebody else's makeup station, the only time I was at someone else's makeup station, right, was was when I was teaching. And that was something that I had to do. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, and that was, you know, and that was a while ago. So for a lot of you guys, it's the energy of you minding your own business and somebody going out of their way to watch what you're doing or to watch what you're posting or to watch what you have going on. And then they sit there and they talk about it with other people around them. And you're just doing your own thing here. So whoever has been doing this, it, it's going right back on them. Yeah, exactly. Freedom, action, horse here. You guys are moving forward. That's what I'm saying. For some of you, someone could have even tried to call you all up out of your name and say that you were doing something negative against them. They could have told this to other people here. This person was low-key jealous of what it is that you have going on because they were lacking freedom within their life. I feel like you're free from whatever that situation is, and you're also free from uh, the judgment of whoever these people were that want to take time talking about you anyways. Because what I'm seeing is for some of you guys, it could go that way. Somebody accusing you of doing something that you are not doing. And I feel like they're going to be getting the message loud and clear to keep y'all's name up out their mouth here. Because with this cat energy, it's like somebody is real petty. So I wasn't expecting all that. But since, I mean, since that's what we have going on here, let's talk about it. What is this witch in reverse, please, for the collective? What's the problem? What's going on here? For you guys to be aware of, for you to move in silence. A lot of you guys are already moving in silence. It's somebody going out of their way to watch you. Somebody is real sick and twisted. We got blood sacrifice here. Not all, y'all. But if somebody was doing some mess like that, they were trying to be a monitoring spirit to see what it is that you have going on within your life. It's like someone's so worried about your progress here. We got a Virgo. Somebody could be a Virgo within the mix. It's like, don't they have their own things uh, going on? Why are they all up in y'all's business? Tell me more. <laughs> this is not even supposed to be it here. <laughs> Look at that. Do a vibe check to see what they was trying to do. Okay, so this came out to let y'all know, yes, spiritual warfare is at play. Okay. 
and somebody actively was in fact trying to do something so this is like somebody paying for something to get done against you or actively doing it themselves what the hell what is this about <sighs> i don't know why this got to be the message okay only take what resonates leave what doesn't okay because you know not every mess every part of a message is for everyone it says they attacked a tarot reader, divinator, high priestess, or priest. This could be you. Oh, okay. So whoever was doing this was attacking um, a high priest or a priestess, somebody that's very intuitive, or if you are a reader, okay? There's some type of dark witch out here that has been attacking you. Yeah, with the solar plexus chakra attacks, this is somebody um, that doesn't want you to heal, stand in your power. They don't like your confidence. They want you to be low vibrational. This is some twisted ass energy. I can't make this shit up. It's a whole group effort here. A group effort of a bunch of people coming together to try to attack you. For some of you, they could be in a similar field as you. So if you're a tarot reader, there could be a tarot reader. But this is a dark... This is someone that works out of the dark, okay? This is somebody that would, in fact, be going to get graveyard dirt and doing blood sacrifices and all type of weird-ass shit that I don't really know much about because guess what? I'm of the light. I don't have time to be dealing with all that. And that's why every time they send an attack out to you, it backfires because uh, God's angels meet, th meet them right at the door. Damn. Somebody salty-ass ex-lover as well could be up in the mix damn some of y'all have had people doing all types of different stuff towards y'all okay we have gemini here somebody's ex-lover could be a gemini for some of you guys these ex-lovers they don't have to know spell work it's just them sending negative energy okay this is somebody where they wanted you to be depleted or they didn't like the fact that you had confidence or your confidence made them feel disempowered because they were already insecure or it could have been somebody um that typically likes to make everything about them. We have a Leo, we have Leo energy here as well. Tell me more and then I'm gonna get up off this energy because somebody did entirely too damn much. Damn, not sending womb attacks to stop a baby from being born or prevent someone from coming pregnant. These people are have lost their damn mind. These people are psycho. Yeah, we have crown chakra attacks, trying to block your divine connection to source downloads, divine wisdom. These are people that are irritated about what you know. For some of you, these are these are people that could be trying to energy harvest off of you or trying to or hating on you because of your spiritual abilities and your spiritual gifts here. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Yeah, we have affirmations to protect your energy. This is crazy here. We have Capricorn energy here as well. So Leo inter Leo rules the fifth house, okay? So for some of you, this could be somebody that you dated, okay? Gemini talks about, Gemini energy talks about communication. For some of you, it could even be a sibling. If it's not a lover. And for Capricorn energy, which rules the 10th house, this could be, like I said, somebody that you work with. And for a lot of you guys, it's somebody salty as hell that maybe you dated somebody. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you dated somebody that they dated or some shit. Or maybe they're upset because um, they feel like you're outshining them or some bullshit. But for some of you guys, these people have followings and all types of different things. Maybe the assignment is that they're in a cold or a coven and their assignment was to try to sacrifice you. And they're not able to do that bullshit. For some of you, it could be an ex-lover and their entire family. That's some weird ass shit. Yeah, I kid you not. It's like sabotage. They're trying to sabotage what you do for a living. Ah! Exactly. Witches and warlocks plotting on you. Guess what? They made a bad investment plotting on you. They dumb as hell. But they're so taken over by demonic spirits that they don't even see that. And that's why karma is hitting them in their pocketbooks. Yeah, there's three or more people working together against you. For some of you, they've been trying to silence you. 
For some of you, it's you minding your own business. They don't even know why they don't like you. They just don't like the fact that um, maybe they're getting triggered by your messages. Maybe they feel like you know something about them that they don't want to uh, put out there. If they don't got nothing to hide, they shouldn't be worried about being transparent. This is somebody putting on a whole damn show. Weird energy. Yeah, just know that you are starseed energy, whoever's moving out of love and light from their heart from the divine. Because a true divine being is not going to be sitting around uh, doing weird ass uh, freezer spells, trying to silence people and, and trying to uh, recruit other people to do spell work against somebody for multiple different reasons. Yeah, for some of y'all, shit, they were really trying to end you. Or they were trying to put an end to your job or your business, your life, things that you're manifesting here. They were trying to do this to a star seed. And that's why them and everybody dealing with them, working together with them, and whoever else is connected to them, overseas or not, okay, coming against a spiritual uh, divine being, they all about to be fucked up, right? Chaos within their life because everything that they're trying to do. That's some weird, boy, people, I tried to tell you, they be doing way too damn much here. Way too much. I don't know what their problem is, but they about to find out real quick. Because this is how fast the angels are coming in on your behalf to silence these people that don't know what the hell they're talking about. For a lot of you guys, it's slander. It's not even the truth, depending on whoever the hell this is. A lot of uh, just jealous, envious energy. Yeah, all because y'all in a star energy. They got a problem. Yeah, you have growth and expansion here. And there's somebody over here trying to cook some shit up against an earth angel. They better go sit their ass down somewhere. <laughs> Like, that's what I'm getting. Because no weapon formed against you shall prosper here. Somebody is just so irritated watching you guys. This is somebody that tunes in to, to almost every single thing you do to try to see if uh, them and their little, uh, their little group of friends or whoever the hell they are, okay, trying to see if what they're doing is working. And they might think it's working for a while, and then all of a sudden they realize that their health is going. Or they realize that their money is funny. Or they realize there's people that are dropping down around them. Why? Because they keep sending out death spells. They need to get it together. Because guess what? They're not stopping anything. Bam. Queen or king, uh, king of Pentacles. Your money is still coming in. You are still, your finances are still protected. Your relationships are still protected here. With the Six of Pentacles here, <laughs> These are new opportunities coming in for you. And this is a group of people or just people in general um, that just want to try to drain you. For some of you, they could have actually wanted to make you sick because they felt like it would affect your abundance. These are some sick, twisted animals, uh, individuals. And guess where they will be? Where does it say? Fire and gnashing of teeth. They will be burning. Okay, Revelations talks all about it. Somebody did entirely too much coming for you guys. Yeah, we have the justice card in reverse here. A lot of bad karma that different people are going through. Because with swords in the reverse, that's somebody that was not being fair. They were not speaking the truth. This is someone that wanted to ma manipulate the situation here. Yeah, with the Four of Pentacles. This was someone that's getting bad karma for trying to block you guys' finances. And they were told many times to put an end to it. But they didn't. For others of you, somebody could be dealing with somebody and thinking about getting a divorce. Or thinking about separating but they could be holding on for financial reasons at this time or whatever relationship it is. Somebody could be thinking about breaking up with the justice card in reverse. Damn, we got the tower here. Mm. Tower and the justice card reverse. Tell me more. What is all of this? What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know, please? 
And we have the Ten of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. Hmm. Somebody could be traveling towards you or wanting to communicate with you or somebody could be watching you. I'm definitely seeing that. One more. I do see that there's a lot of people going through a tower moment right now and that's because of some type of unfair treatment or some type of unfair actions that they could have did against you guys here. We have Ace of Swords here. That's the truth. Somebody could also want to speak their truth as well. For some of you, this could involve things like paperwork, um, contracts. Visas, passports, all those type of things are the Ace of Swords. We have Aquarian energy here, Libra energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the King of Pentacles here. And then we have the High Priestess. Somebody could be salty because they're getting divorced. Or they're salty because somebody breaking up with them. I feel like somebody is listening to their intuition. Or they're being called to. I feel like there's something that's being sorted out here. Tell me more. Somebody could be upset or feel like some type of uh, ruling is unfit. Like what? What is this here? This is the Nine of Pentacles, but it wanted to come out as a challenge. Tell me more about this Tower card. I need. I want to know for sure. What is this? We got the Ten of Wands. Damn, for some of you guys, you guys had a couple that was working together against you. You had a straight couple. I don't know why I said straight couple. Because so for some of you guys, they were not straight. They had an open relationship or they were bi. So this could be like an ex and somebody else that they're dealing with. Or some of you guys have an ex that is married or that moved on. That's not for everybody. That's only for, that's only for some people. If you know, you know. Like in regards to your situation. But there was a lot of spell work somebody was doing, and all of that is backfiring on everybody involved here. And with the Justice card reverse, it's like these people here, if they are a married couple, they could be doing something illegal when it comes to um, finances, or there's some type of thing that's not going in their favor in regards to a home situation or a property or some type of business. And they feel a certain type of way. strange tell me more tell me more for the collective yeah we got the queen of swords again and then we got the four of pentacles it's like somebody was told over and over and over again to stop sending negative attacks towards y'all and they didn't listen so things are falling down around them here. There's a tower that's falling here. A lot of different people are upset. Okay, for some of you guys, if these are people that are corrupt and they're making money together, that entire, um, all the different people that are involved are going down. So everyone is panicking. Everybody is paranoid. People are, are um, cutting deals or snitching on each other. And it's becoming too much of a burden. And with the Queen of Swords here, it's people salty that they feel like you know something about it here. The Four of Pentacles, they're trying to hold on to what it is that they have. But it's like the Divine has been wanting them to transform their life. 
Four of Pentacles and the Hierophant. For others of you, if, if, if it's not something, you know, because we be getting all types of different messages because people be involved in some weird shit that be watching and we be picking up on it. Um, <clears throat> for others of you, somebody could have spoken their truth um, that they wanted to get out of some type of contract or they wanted to get out of some type of relationship or they're thinking about having a divorce. They want to tower the situation. They feel like they've put everything into it and they're not really getting a return on their investment or they're not being appreciated. Or some of you guys have like an ex-spouse or something that's thinking about you or that wants to reach out to you. Somebody's situation with the Tower card and the Ten of Wands, it, it's coming it, it's coming apart. And with the Four of Pentacles, somebody was really holding on to it for the wrong reasons. They were. And it wasn't because of love. I don't see not... I mean, the only cup card I see out here is the Ten of Cups. So different family members could be involved or upset about something. Or something to do with a home here. It's giving I said what I said and I'm going to be emotionally fulfilled regardless. So somebody here wants to speak their truth and they want to end some type of um, unhealthy situation. That's what I'm seeing with this. But with the four of pentacles, they might feel like financially they can't do that yet. Or somebody also could be unexpectedly moving and going to their family's place or going to see their family or talking to their family about um, about their living situation. Something's changing with that, whether they're, you know, singly living alone or whether or not um, they actually were, you know, living together with a partner here. Somebody could also be mad that somebody moved out from their home. Like, I, I'm hearing somebody, somebody was, somebody is real mad over a divorce here. They're real mad about that. Or the thought of that. But it's giving, I said what I said, I've already did more than enough. I don't see the Ace of Cups, I don't see the Two of Cups. It's like, where's the love? Lord, let's see. I don't know how. I don't know if I have full time to completely shuffle for all of these. We just gonna pull them out. Queen of Pentacles, Chariot card. Okay, somebody moving forward here. Ace of Swords. Someone knows the truth about somebody well, about why somebody left or departed. Justice card. The Ace of Wands here. Somebody wants to end something and wants to passionately come towards you, or they want to take some type of action. Um because they feel like something was unfair king of pentacles please <clears throat> the three of cups so someone definitely could be married in the mix or was married whatever the situation is here king of pentacles three of cups somebody could be out there dating or they could want to come back together with you or have some type of reunion with you and they literally could have like a spouse at a distance with the chariot card or they have like a third party at a distance or some type of distance is involved. Tell me about the tower card. We have the sun card. Tower, sun, something coming to light. Damn. And the eight of swords here. Tell me more about the tower, the sun, the eight of swords. <sighs> Somebody could be going to jail. For some of you with that tower card and that entire group, if it was some type of cor uh, corrupt organization, a lot of different people could be going to jail or getting picked up. We have the page of pentacles here. There's some type of communication about that. Or something has came apart. It's been exposed. Somebody is overthinking and they want to send a message. Because they're weighed down by whatever this ending is. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. We have the Hangman here. It's like something was way too much of a heavy load for somebody to carry. Nothing but burdens here. Yeah, within some type of love situation or, or with some type of partner here. Somebody was stagnant or needing to see something for a dip, from a different perspective. And it's like somebody could want some type of reconciliation or y'all to bring that ass, bring that ass, bring that ass back. 
okay? But with the Ace of Wands and the Three of Cups, though, that's somebody that's going to be leading with a uh, passion, okay? So just know that <laughs> as opposed, you know, as opposed to, um, well, we do have the, the Ten of Cups here, so take it as it resonates. But the Ten of Cups, please. We have the World card here. We have the Temperance card. Some of you guys are just closing out different cycles with different people and you are just transforming into the person that you are meant to be. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody also could have family at a distance. It's like somebody wants to hear from y'all or they want to tell you about something. Tell me about the Queen of Swords here. What's the Queen of Swords? We have the Six of Wands. So somebody's speaking their truth. Something is, is brought to light. There's success. There's recognitions. Um, or something is public. Tell me more. We have the High Priestess. I feel like you guys are moving in silence or you're being called to. There's people watching your every move here. Some of you guys could be silent from somebody that seems like they just want attention from everybody. And you could have just cut that energy off or you've pulled back your energy. We have Leo Pisces energy showing up as well. One more. We have the Queen of Wands. You guys taking action here. Strength card being courageous. Four of Wands. Knight of Swords. Knight of Wands. Woo! Lord. Yeah, y'all closing out cycles with a lot of different people. That's what I'm seeing here. And you're confidently moving forward towards your goals. So put me some hearts down below. Put me some travel emojis. 